Hello, I'm Tom Hopkins. I'm a technical fellow at ST Microelectronics. We're here at ST DevCon in Santa Clara, California today, and I'm going to talk about the Power Step 10. Power Step 10 is an integrated motor control driver for stepper motor drivers. It's a system and package, meaning that it is a IC with eight discrete power transistors in the same monolithic package. We also integrate into that device a digital power control and a digital motion engine. So it takes the burden of controlling the micro away from the main microprocessor and puts it into the ST step, or Power Step 10. If you look over here, this is a, an example of the application working. This is the ST Step 10 down here. And we've got the Nucleo control board in there, which is a development system. So what we have, as I say, in the Power Step 10, the Power Step 10 is a device like this. It has the control IC, which includes the, the current control, the digital motion engine, and its SPI interface to the microcontroller. This integrated device is on the board here, and it replaces a board about this size. This is approximately the right size proportion. So it's about one-fifth or one-sixth the size of the board that it replaces. When you use this device, you're going to use it with a microcontroller, and it communicates with the device across a simple SPI interface. In this case, you can communicate with multiple axes either in parallel, or you can daisy chain the axes together so that you have one daisy chain of SPI to control multiple axes. So in this, for example, a 3D printer would have three, three axes to control, and you can see I've got three motor controls on here. One of the things that really makes this product interesting is we've integrated the digital motion engine into the device. So the microprocessor only has to give some very high-level commands to the, in, to the uh, device. Instead of it having to count all of the steps and keep track of the speed for each step, it sends only a single command that says move from point A to point B at this speed. Once it, it starts that, then the, my, the power step 10 will follow this algorithm in here and move from point A to point B at that speed and then come back down and stop. The great thing about having the daisy chain configuration is when you're, you can then uh, synchronize multiple axes because all of the commands will start at the same time that you have at the end of the uh, SPI command. So here we have a very new integrated device and we also have then the support system that goes with it because we have the Nucleo board here and we have are the, the Nucleo board for the STM32, we have the X Nucleo board for the Power Step 10, and we have all of the software that goes together and integrates in the open development system to give you a very quick, uh, rapid market development. Thank you for joining me at ST DevCon. Thank you.